everyone <laughs> this is our series about uh, peace of Christ first with everyone this is our series about the night of power I will so I will show you that uh, Muhammad you know you, you know the Muslims always they talk about uh, you know once in the in the Christian history and this is true one of the Pope in, of Rome he was uh, promising people to go to heaven and he's signing big documentation it's you know if you pay me money you will go to heaven yeah he's a he's a uh, he's a corrupted man and uh, he is out of the church and every Christian knows that this man he is not no Christian anyway because nobody can forgive you for your future sin except God no priest no minister no man only God and no future sin will be forgiven because you have to repent when you promise people that's your sin future sin will be forgiven you know it's mean you are giving him a license to do sin right you are giving him an open li license for filth now let us see that Muhammad is the one who did create that 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 kind of filth long before this Pope in Rome who is a filthy man you know the one who said I will forgive you for your sin and I will guarantee heaven for you it's called paradise documentation in case like I don't know if I'm giving the correct translation and here you will see Muhammad actually Muhammad he promised many people that they will go to heaven as a promise he promised them you can ask any Muslim you will see you, they will say to you that Muhammad he promised 10 people to go guarantee to heaven he's acting as if he's God 10 people al -ashra al bil -jannah. 10 people he gave them the good news you are going to heaven guaranteed and he promised them to go and here you will see one of his promises for heaven how simple guys I will give you the secret to go to heaven you do not need even to do anything good in your life you don't need to believe in anyone listen to this carefully this is Muhammad saying the following you know what I'm not going to say anything I will take the whole thing and we will translate it in Google translation thank you Google for helping me you know because uh, we need that so I, I copied the text as it is from the hadith and this is a translation Prophet, hey, Prophet, or peace upon him. There's no peace upon him in any way. And there it says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, God, may Allah pray on Muhammad. Anyway, this is a translation as software. He said, The fastest Ramadan firmly. Okay. If you fast Ramadan firmly, which means you do it perfectly. And what? This is the hadith, okay, in, in front of us. And he do with faith and all the God ordering Allah will forgive for him his sin and the one who pray let's go back to the translation and the one who pray in the night of power as Muslims translated okay uh, and here the translation is coming different and I think I think this translation is is the correct one anticipation uh, so the one who uh, if you if you uh, if you fasted firmly in Ramadan you know uh, Allah will forgive you for your guilt great but the one who do pray in the night of anticipation which means the night of power as they translate okay Allah will forgive him his guilt for the future you believe it Allah will forgive him for his coming sin Allah will forgive him for his past and his coming sin so all what we do simply you know what we will do pray in that night and Allah will forgive us for the past and the coming sin so why I want to be a good guy in the future and what good guy mean anyway if I'm going to be filthy for the rest of my life because as we see he, he told them that God will forgive you for your coming sin if you pray future sin which means until you die right not only tomorrow so it's a promise it's a promise of faith open license to do faith just because you prayed it that night and we, we showed you that even he don't know which night it is <laughs> and you know okay let us let us imagine the story this way 
I don't know you guys if you like cartoon or not okay in here the reason I like pictures because pictures can you know we can share imagination together in here let us say this is what the Quran is telling us about one about one uh, one night the God he opened his door for you so you can pray for him and this prayer is better than 83 years of prayer you got the idea <laughs> you know <laughs> listen if God is God of justice why this night is better than any night and God will forgive you for your future sin like you know guys that you know the stories we hear like you know one day that the, the king he go in his balcony and he says whoever asked me for a wish today I will do your wish <laughs> is that a cartoon <laughs> why this night Allah will forgive you for your coming sin and why this night one night is better than 83 years and a three month imagine so when we say better it's mean better in what supposedly the praying so if you pray for 83 years you are not even making it equal for this night prayer isn't it weird how you doing Allah <laughs> I look good in there <laughs> So, you know, when we say this guy is a joker, honestly, I am not insulting him. He is. Why God will open his door in one night? And why at night? What about day? What about morning time? Why in night time Allah will open his door and this prayer at that night, it's called the night of power. Now I understand why it's called the night of power. Mm, because at that night if you pray at that night it's better than 83 years of a prayer so you know what I will pray at that night and the coming 83 years this is in case if I lived 83 years I will go and do all kind of filth I want <laughs> and Muslims you want to tell me that this is a God how are you doing Allah how you doing Allah <laughs> shut up just go and sleep just go change your di change your diver you stink stop why you are laughing at Allah man this kid is that's it sorry guys I have to do something to him I, I, I'm going to send him to his mommy so guys it might be funny but it's showing us how stupid is the religion of Islam one night is better than 1000 month let us go back to the Quran as you see one night in here is better than a thousand month which means better than 83 years so I hope that this is really uh, was enough for you to know what Islam is about how stupid this religion is because it's not fear it's not justice it's fool from God to say in this night if you pray to me it's equal to 83 years it's even better why give me a reason just give me a reason there is no reason if every night is a night of a prayer what what would make this night this is mean that God he opened his doors as you see and he opened his legs maybe too you know at that night and because that night is a special night for Allah he opened his doors for your prayer which mean all other nights he is not there so you are wasting your time <laughs> anyway <laughs> you get my idea if this night if why this prayer is better than 83 years of prayer 83 years 
imagine the number is a huge so you pray for 83 years is not even equal to this night so why this night is special this is mean all the prayer of Muslims five times a day is just a waste of time it's just a stupid things to do you know why because just go and pray that night because it's better than 1,000 month because it's better than 83 years of a prayer but it's very clear that Muhammad is making things up he is showing us how fool he is and I always say if you are a fool the much you speak the much you expose yourself thank you all Jesus is Lord Muhammad and Islam is false and the night of power is the night of a horny God thank you